Namaste. Welcome to the next video of Machine Learning Practice Course. In this video, we'll implement MLP Regressor on California Housing Dataset. We begin by importing basic libraries like Pandas and NumPy and then Matplotlib and Seaborn for plotting. We import datasets from sklearn. The training test split is carried out by train underscore test underscore split. The regression is carried out by MLP regressor, which is implemented in sklearn.neural network module. We'll perform feature processing like scaling using standard scalar in sklearn.preprocessing module. And uh, the feature preprocessing and the regressor together are implemented in pipeline object which is imported from sklearn.pipeline module. We evaluate the performance of classifier using mean absolute error and mean absolute percentage error and both these metrics are imported from sklearn.matrix module. We use cross validate for training the classifier and shuffle split for model selection. We begin by defining a random seed we use shuffle split cross validation with number of splits equal to 5 and we set aside 20% examples as test examples. We begin by loading the California housing dataset as we have loaded earlier and California dataset is loaded using fetch underscore California underscore housing from sklearn.datasets module. We set aside 20% examples as test examples through trend test split. After training test split, we obtain training and test feature matrix and training and test label vectors. You can see that 16,512 examples are used for training and 4,128 examples are used as test examples. Each example in training and test is represented with 8 features. We define a pipeline object with feature preprocessing which is standard scalar and then using a regressor with MLP regressor with hidden layers set to 32. So we are defining MLP regressor with one hidden layer and this hidden layer has 32 different neurons. We train the pipeline with cross validation by supplying the training feature matrix and training labels. We use shuffle split cross validation strategy in the CV parameter and we use negative mean absolute percentage error for scoring. We have set return trend score and return estimators to true. After training the model, we obtain mean absolute error on training set of 0.215 with a small standard deviation. The mean absolute percentage error on the test set was 0.217. So the mean absolute percentage error is, is very similar on training and test set which, which indicates that the model is well trained and model is not underfitting or overfitting. Then we obtain the mean absolute percentage error on training and test set. So you can see that on the training the mean absolute percentage error is 0.205 and on test set it is 0.216. We plotted the actual values and the predicted values. So you can see that the actual value is represented with, with the green line which is at 45 degree and that is the line that shows the what should ideal prediction be. And you can see that the prediction is around this green line on either side. So there is some error and which is which is what you see with mean absolute percentage error. So this is the, the predicted values are represented with blue stars. So there are some misclassification or there are uh, there are many wrong predictions for this value 5 and you have seen this earlier that the actual value of 5 this is more like a truncated value for all the houses with value greater than 5 million and that explains why our regressor is not working well in this particular region. In the rest of the region, the regressor is 
performing satisfactorily. So in this video, we trained MLP regressor on California housing dataset and demonstrated how to use MLP regressor in regression problems.